So this time you need a model that you're going to bake from which will be the model that's got all our colour information on and we need a model we're going to bake to. So we'll use this model as the model sort of our destination model and this is going to be our source model and again we're going to bake in those uh, smooth mesh subdivisions so modify convert smooth mesh preview to polygons modify or just press G just to repeat the last command delete by type history so we have our color version and we have our version that we're baking on to. So let's go to lighting shading, transfer maps for this one. Let's just move that over there. So in this window here, we can basically transfer various different bits, various different bits of information between models. So you can generate normal maps, so you can use this to generate a normal map from a high resolution model to a low resolution model. They don't have to be the same model, the same resolution. Um, we're just using it for this because all we're going to do is bake out a diffuse map. So we'll set that there. We'll just set a temporary name. So uh, loader torso diffuse bake like so. So you specify the map that's going to be baked out, like so. So this we know is going to be our target mesh. Let's just move that out of the way for a second. It's loading our color model, select this. And this is going to be our source mesh. So click on there, move that over. Let's just bring back our destination model again. So this is what it's going to be baked onto. Let's just isolate this. And this procedure can be repeated exactly the same for the uh, the limbs. Let's just scroll down. Again, you can set your map width, map height, transfer in world space is fine, filter size. Again, fill texture seams if you want to. So again, like we did with the occlusion map, it's always worth running a preview just to see how it's going to look before you increase your map size and your sampling quality so let's just let's just do a quick bake now and see how this looks we want it to connect to a new shader as well so that shouldn't take too long and there that has output a texture so we're not looking at a the polygons which are colored now we're actually looking at the texture which has been baked from the color model and applied to this. Now remember this is only a 256 by 256 map so we are going to get issues like this but in general that worked quite well. So all we need to do now is just turn up our map width and height maybe 1024 by 1024 and increase our sampling quality if we want to get a nicer bake. So maybe set it to medium or high. Now obviously that's going to take a lot longer to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, let's just turn off isolate selected. Here's one which we've done previously. And if we go back to our image viewer. So this is the diffuse map which was exported for the torso and this is the gone for the limbs and again it's exactly the same we're just going to mirror it in Photoshop and we've got both sides done if you look we have got these little uh, errors here but that's where those pipes are intersecting with the model so that black colour has been baked and brought through if I zoom in you can see there but they're just very very minor issues and if you think about it they're going to be covered by the pipes anyway so nobody's really going to see them so those are the diffuse maps exported and applied and again if I turn off the lighting we could just see that's just that basic color again we've got this slight issue with the seam here but we can we're going to fix that next so that's not an issue 
So now we have our occlusion and we have our diffuse. Those two maps are really going to help us kickstart our texturing. So let's jump into Photoshop now and just have a quick look at how we're going to start using those and how they're going to affect the look of the model.